Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies bringing you another tutorial for my Kill Team playlists. Games Workshop very kindly sent me a copy of the new Soul Shackle Kill Team box set. So a big thank you to them for sending that out. Um, it did arrive late, so I didn't have time to get a video ready for the actual uh, pre-order day. So I'm gonna try and get them done between pre-order day and launch day, which is next Saturday. So I'm gonna start off today with the Arbytes video. I'm still not 100% sure whether I'm going to do a video on the uh, Dark Eldar guys from the box set, as I've already done a, a Dark Eldar video for the channel. I'll link them, will be up here now, which will take you guys to that. So you can check that out if you wanna paint up the uh, Dark Eldar from the set. I've already done the scenery from the previous two box sets. So I'll probably do a video on maybe the holographic table or some other bits and bobs like that. But the walls themselves I already have a video that will cover that perfectly which is show up here as well um, and will help you guys get through the entire T of your soul shackle box before I get to the video and start painting this art bite I want to say a huge thank you to all of my active patrons without you guys I'm gonna be able to keep the lights on and the cameras rolling if you're interested in joining my Patreon, some of the benefits you get are a private Discord server where you can hang out with me and talk hobby on a daily basis. And you get an extra video every single week. So that's 52 extra videos a year for all of my patrons. Okay, guys, let's paint an Arbite. Okay, so this is the Arbite miniature I've decided to paint up. Beautiful uh, riot shield and shock baton in a nice open pose, nice and easy to paint. The model got a coat of black, uh, Chaos Black Spray and then a Zenithal Spray of Grey Seer, all with rattle cans. After that, we moved over to Black Templar Contrast and painted the entire miniature, well, all the parts of the miniature that are black, with this contrast to lay down our base coat. Now, I am not going to lie to you, painting Arbites is not the easiest thing in the world. It's one of those kind of tricky schemes to uh, make look good because it's 95% just black and trying to break up the different tones some of the harder leather some of the softer leather, some of the armor what like even all the weapons are black well the storm shield is anyway the guns have a nice break of red in them so those miniatures might be a little bit easier to paint but these can be quite a pain so I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks and help you uh, to break that all up in this video after the black templar was applied we went to wildwood for his um, belt around his waist with all of his pouches and holster and grenade thingies and all those kind of bits and pieces we gave a coat of a wildwood too we also use this as all the straps that hold on his different armor panels they go around his arms or his legs um, and they connect both sides of his armored chest together as well on the side so just pay attention to all those leather straps and give them a wildwood coat From here, we're going to go over to Lead Belcher, and we were just going to apply that to basically most of the metallic parts. So obviously, the, most of the shock baton is silver. There is going to be an element of gold, a bit of ornateness to these guys, so I'm going to do that. But I'm not going to worry too much about where the gold's meant to go until I get to the gold. So I'm going to basically go for a solid coat of silver almost on uh, his baton. This guy actually, I don't know whether I built him wrong, but he's got two batons. One's a shock baton and one's a normal one, so... Maybe if he really wants to smack you up on the head, he might toss away his shield and draw a second baton, which uh, is not what you want an Arbite to do while looking in your direction. Uh, but this is the kind of time where you would highlight or get base coats on things like handcuffs and other bits. Still quite a dark miniature even at this point. Now we can go over to the Retributor Armor Gold, and we're going to apply this to all the ornate parts of the miniature. So... Just like uh, Judge Dredd, he's got one big glorious golden shoulder pad. So we're going to make sure to get that nicely base coated. He's got an Aquila on his storm shield. And then like I said, I'm going to pick out some other details. Like the handle of the shock baton. He's also got some buttons running down his jerkin. Uh, his belt buckle has some gold on it. And then there's a couple of other like little symbols around the, the body. Hanging off chains and stuff like that. Let's just make sure you get the silver and gold stages done on them. This is the first and kind of only real splash of colour that these miniatures get is the gold. Okay, when that's applied, we're going to move over to Null Oil and shade the entire miniature. Once again, very quick and easy step. Null Oil, everything. It's going to shade down everything nicely and then it's going to bring us over to the highlight stage. Now, while I'm waiting for that shade to dry, I did base the miniature. I've decided to stop trying to figure out what basing scheme I'm going to do for my kill teams. 
and instead all my guard esque kill teams are just going to get based the same as my guard armies so the same kind of brown trench mud bases I know it doesn't suit these guys down to the ground but I really wanted to have some form of base on them before I got stuck in Okay, and here's where we need to uh, pay attention a little bit. So right now, like I said, the most of the, ma the majority of the miniature is black. There's actually two different types of black. There's the black armor and then there's all the black cloth. So we're going to start with the black cloth and we're going to highlight that with Corvus black. So the thing we're trying to do now with these two stages is break up the different blacks. Because if we don't do this, it is just going to look like a shadow, a really dark mess, really plain and boring. So Corvus Black and all the soft bits. It's sometimes hard to pick out which bits are the soft bits. I kept having to go back to the Games Workshop website and look at the different miniatures that they had on the uh, Soul Shackle section of the website. Uh, so in between all the armor panels is soft seal. Like basically his butt is, the, is just his trousers. He's got no armor there. So that's got to get done with Corvus Black gloves uh, and bits and pieces like that. So take your time. The bit around his neck as well, going up under his chin. That's all soft, obviously. So after that's applied, then we're going to move over to Abaddon Black. And we're going to layer all the armoured panels. This is going to be a lot darker. And it will help to differentiate the two blacks nicely. We are going to add a little bit of weathering to the armoured parts later on. So that will help a lot as well. Uh, and add something to it. So once that stage is applied, the model really does start to come to life. It was one of those really awkward miniatures to film as well. Because there wasn't enough kind of colour or definition in the model. The camera didn't know where to lock onto. It preferred locking onto my fingers and the, the brush than it did the actual miniature, which is a real pain. But as you can see, I'm taking my time, being really careful. You can see the different colours of cloth and armour there. After that, we're going to use Katachan Flesh to layer up the belts that we gave him. So holsters, all those kind of bits that we hit with the Wildwood Contrast at the start. We're going to layer up with this. This is nice and bright, so even when you do the straps going around his legs, holding on the holster or holding on his armoured uh, parts, it's going to be a nice breakup of all the black. I do really like Arbites. I have this idea in my head of the first wave of the Gene Sinner Cult Uprising being met by Arbites, which makes sense in my head. So having almost like a platoon of Arbites, maybe like 50 of them, and playing a small game against Gene Sinner Cult, I think would be very interesting and a lot of fun. Maybe even just a boarding patrol action. The Gene Sinner Cult Uprising and assault the precinct. All the Arbites have to rally and try and fight them out. Although, who wants to go near an Arbite precinct? I don't even know. <laughs> After that, we're going to jump over the corn red. So the right hand shoulder pad of the Arbites has a red stripe going down the middle of it. And I'm about to get to the stage where I add transfers and transfers go over this stage. So I'm going to do this now. So it's just a th semi thick band of red going through the right shoulder pad. Two thin coats gave me a strong color, nice and dark, fits in with the black really well. It's not too bright. And then this glorious transfer sheet. And if you'll notice the, the transfers in the bottom right, I thought these were so funny. They've given you like the chalk outlines of victims. I saw this and was laughing so much. One of them had even been decapitated for some reason. So with some transfers applied, I just went for kind of precinct 12, put that on his shield and on his shoulder pad. And now I'm going to weather a bit. So all I'm doing is adding a little bit of silver to some old case sponge. And I'm just gonna stipple this across all of the black armor panels on the model. As you can see, it's gonna add a really nice little bit of chipping damage. Like these guys are more like Carl Urban Judge Dredd than the Stallone Judge Dredd. The armor is bashed. These guys are in like gruesome fights all day, every day, kicking down doors. Um, so their their equipment and armor, although very functional, always working very well, is gonna be chipped and scuffed and and I think this is going to add that little touch of kind of realism to the model. Once we're finished with the stippling technique, we're going to go back to Lead Belcher and we're going to highlight all of the gold and silver parts of the miniature. I'm sure you've heard me talk about this before if this isn't your first video with me. The silver is normal layer job. With the, when we highlight the gold parts with this, it's just a few touch highlights. You can see when I go on the shoulder pad, it's just kind of all the sharp points. 
just get a touch of silver and it highlights them really well and super fast. Sure, if I set aside kind of three or four hours, I could get this entire Arbite squad painted and ready for the tabletop. So not only is it an effective scheme, it's also very quick. Starting to look like an Arbite now. After that, we're going to the Pal de Witch Flesh, which I know is a strange color, but they have stripes of basically white running down their helmet. But if you look closely, uh, there, it's not pure white. Pal de Witch Flesh is actually the closest color to it. And Pal de Witch Flesh is a lot easier to work with than white. So I was very thankful for this. While I was being neat and tidy and doing that stripe, I also went in and painted all of the lenses. Whether it be the strip lens across his helmet or in the riot shield or all the lights on his chest or on the shield itself as well. All of these bits got a nice coat of pallid witch flesh, which is going to make it super easy to add a, uh, a color to it with a contrast to make it glow. So going in with the traditional Arbite slash Judge Dread look, I love Judge Dread by the way, um, all I'm going to do is use some Blood Angels red contrast and just paint in all of those bits and pieces. Super quick and easy way of doing lenses. I know there's a million other ways to do them that take, you know, all sorts of highlights and dots of white in corners to make the glint, but that just takes time. And if you have the time to commit to each individual eye lens in your entire pile of shame with that kind of dedication, more power to you. I do not have that kind of time. I've got a million miniatures to paint and that pile is never getting any smaller. So giving an Arbite squad a couple hours is all I can really manage. Spending a couple of hours on each miniature, it's just not a... Uh, a possibility for me but having said that i'm really pleased with the final result i think he looks suitably arbitey he looks like a, a gnarly riot cop ready to serve the emperor i will get the rest of the squad painted soon and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a few bits and pieces from it thanks for watching guys Okay guys, and there we have it. One Adeptus Arbite painted up and ready for the grim, dark city streets of some crazy hype city. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a like. If you enjoyed my videos and want to make sure you see more of them, make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified for all future uploads. If you have any questions about Soul Shackles or any of the miniatures in the box set or how I painted this guy, put it in the comments below and I will get back to each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around at the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one.